Have you been feeling like a failure at your clinical placement? Well, here are a few steps that you can take to effectively seek feedback from your preceptor. Number one is have the right mindset. Give yourself some grace. You're still learning. So take this feedback and look at it as an opportunity for growth and development. No one expects you to be perfect, but they do expect progress. Number two, do regular check-ins, maybe weekly, or maybe every a couple of days, or every two weeks, or every month. By doing this, you'll stay on top of areas of strength and also your areas of improvement. Number three, be specific about what feedback you're looking for. So before you even meet with your preceptor, maybe just give them the heads up that you're looking for feedback on time management. Maybe it's a specific skill, like an injection. Once you know exactly what feedback you're looking for, communicate that with your preceptor so they can give you targeted and focused feedback. Number four, once you get that feedback, reflect on it. So consider how you would use that feedback the next time you encounter a similar situation. What would you do differently? What would you do the same? And finally, number five is follow up. Recircle back to your preceptor to discuss the progress you've made. For more nursing school tips and career advice for new grads and nurses, make sure to follow me here and go check out my website, www.itsjustlikethat.ca. See you there.